Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I would take you along with me and do a little bit of DIYing, a bit of refurbishing. So I've decided to sand back our drawers and redo them and change out the handles just to give it a new look. I was contemplating getting a new set of drawers, but I thought, you know what? I may as well <laughs> make this into a little bit of a project and take you along with me. So if you're in need of some motivation or you enjoy DIYs, then definitely watch till the end to see the finished project and yeah let's get into it these are the drawers that we're going to be doing and I will show you some of my inspiration I'll actually like you know add it to the screen so you can see but they're just like very standard drawers they're solid wood so they are great quality and I just want to send them back and take out the um, like change over the handles I just took out three drawers and I'm going to start with this and then we'll go and get the rest when we're ready. So on the inside you can see this nice pine color and I really do want to get back to this because I really like this color. I feel like it will match in Fedor's room. Alright, so we're going to be using this quite hard sandpaper. So we're going it's P80. Um, this is just going to strip it and then we're going to go through it and we're going to go with the softer sandpaper which is 220p. Um, this is so like when you do get to the surface area, like deeper surface area, it's not going to scratch as much. I've been working on sanding. I haven't been like consistently doing it. I've just been like plodding along. So I reckon it's probably been about three days of me doing the drawers. I still have to do like the outside, but I thought I would spray the drawers because I got this spray from Bunnings. Let me let me show you. Whoa, it's spray. Um, I got timber wax spray. Now I wanted a wax matte finish so this was like perfect when I read the description this is not like a stain or anything so it's gonna like um, I guess enhance the natural color of the wood which is what I wanted I wanted that bare you know naked raw wood look and this is gonna be perfect so I have a mask to wear with this probably should wear a mask when you're sanding but um, yeah um, so I thought I would show you how I do this and uh, not really sure how many coats I'm gonna do we're just gonna see probably one or two or maybe three depending okay so obviously the first thing you want to do is clean the surface because it can get dusty now I wanted to mention that I kind of left like this cool lining around here um, 
I thought it looked cool and gave it a little bit of a different look. I am getting leather, like faux, faux leather guys. Not real leather. Faux leather handles and I think it would tie in with like the imperfections in the wood. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. some inspiration I love the piece so much and so <laughs> what? 
we clearly don't want to film today. Anyway, I love the piece so much and I hope you found some DIY inspiration, especially in this whole catastrophic event with self-isolating and quarantining. It would definitely give you something to do. And also guys, don't forget to check out your local hardware store online so you can get some supplies to do one of these babies of. Because even though it took like, I'm gonna say a good solid week and a half to two weeks, but I steadily paced myself and didn't rush and just did it when I felt like it. And it's just a really great project when you've got a lot of time up your sleeve. And I am so in love with the piece, guys. It saved me literally thousands of dollars. <laughs> so yeah, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button. And I'm going to go and get my little nugget because he's awake from his nap. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.